Are you ready to lose to somebody twice your age? I don't know. <laughs> I think my whole team's asleep right now. So. <laughs> Squirrels. Limits. Ten. Per person? Yep. Per day? Yep. Daily limit, ten. Possession limit, twenty. I think rabbit is six. So maximum a team could have 20 squirrels and 12 rabbits. Morning, fellas. The man, the myth, the legend. It's me. How are you? Well, I'm awake. He came down that curve to where I went this way. So, there. So, today is a small game day. Chase is back there. Everything's backwards. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. A bunch of us met up this morning at Hardee's. We broke up into two-man teams. Ate breakfast. Everybody left. We gotta meet back at noon with what we kill. Gray squirrels are worth one point. Reds are worth two points, and rabbits are three points. Should be a good day. Anyway, we're hunting. Here, take your phone. I see it on your screen. Yeah. Is my screen on? See? It is. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty big logs, I don't know. Did you miss him clean? I think so. Missed it. Yeah. Looks it. This is where he ran. Gosh dang. There's several over here. There's still another one. Okay. Well, he's off having that little adventure. I found the money tree. I think I shot four squirrels out of the same tree. One after the other after the other. Let's check them out. One, two, three, four. Unreal. That's a heck of a tree. <laughs> I got one of them. Yeah, I think there's some drawers. He's got <laughs> a bunch of holes. Yeah, he's got a big nut sack too. You can have him. Dude, out of this tree right here. Five. Yeah, five. Five total. <laughs> he made it to a tree with the holes. That's the second one that's done that to me. And they were just climbing, going up and down and chasing each other. Oh. It's like, which one do I kill first? I <laughs> 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 That's cool. I'm gonna stick this somewhere else. Alright, we gotta remember that tree. Shoot, yeah. A five squirrel tree, dude. Right on.
and I seen him going up the trail. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get him. So I get over there, and all of a sudden, they take off running, and I'm like, mm. yeah, exactly. And then I come back, and I can't find a squirrel. And I can't remember exactly the tree. I walked around that until I confused myself. I just gave up. I'm like, screw it, I guess I'm. Listen, we are gonna quit deer hunting. Where'd you pick him up at? <laughs> you pick him on the road. <laughs> that thing's road kill. Look at the tire mark on it. Trust him. Let's go. Yeah, we gotta get that. He died at the. He died eating lunch. That's crazy. Yeah, all of ours have that red on them. Only thing that for one. Yeah. That's the one that was. It. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> back at the house now what you saw was me some family some friends all doing a small game hunt so there ended up being several two-man teams there uh, I think me and Jace technically finished in second place I got back home I cleaned up my three squirrels and I packaged them and put them in the freezer my plan is to add on to this video at some point and show you all how I make squirrel tacos they're very very good they're very very easy it's about the very, it is probably the best way to cook squirrel I have found yet. If you got a better way, put it down below. I'd like to know about it. Anyway, I'll probably come back to you whenever we're ready to cook some squirrel tacos. So it's like a week after our squirrel hunt. Um, I cleaned the squirrels and I packaged them and put them in the freezer. I thawed out the uh, squirrels and we're gonna make squirrel tacos today because this one wants some. I love them. I've got three squirrels. This one is cut into two, so that's one squirrel, two squirrel, three squirrel. Uh, you can quarter them or you can throw them in here whole. It don't matter, we're gonna pull it apart. But basically, put them in the slow cooker and I'm adding beef broth. We're adding a packet of taco seasoning. This is the Taco Bell. I don't think it makes a difference, but put one of them in. And then we have green pepper, and about a half an onion. So now we've got squirrel, taco seasoning, beef broth, a green pepper, and an onion. You're gonna slow cook it until the meat falls off the bone. When you can pull the meat apart with your fingers, that's when it's done. We'll see you in six to eight hours. I also want to add, this recipe is not on Google. This is my own thing. So, I like it, it works for us, it tastes good, it's yummy. Try it, let me know in the comments if you try it and know what you think. But there's a lot of recipes on the internet for squirrel tacos, but to me, this is the easiest way to make them. The least amount of ingredients to get the best flavor. I want it to be big. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. All right. It's been. My onion. It's been one, one way since you looked at me. Uh, um. It's like four o'clock. <sighs> so the squirrel is very squirrely. Fall party. See how the meat is like falling off the bone? That's what we want. Oh my gosh, is that like its leg? What we're gonna do now is let them cool down and then we're gonna pull the meat off of the bones. It's not all the way done, but try it. Hmm. It's a squeal. And one, give it a, what star do you give it? One through 10, 10 being the best thing you've ever ate. Eat. What? We're gonna dump, uh, we're gonna dump this out. <laughs> that was gross. You're gross. <laughs> You're grosser. Put a little bit of water in the crock pot. Packet number two of the taco seasoning. 
Now we're gonna pull the meat off of the bone and return all of the meat into the water taco seasoning mixture. Cookie, do you like squirrel tacos? You want a squeal? You gonna eat some squeal? Pico. We're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna put all these tomatoes in here. Oh dang. Cool. And that is very close to my body. Mm. Gold dang.